real quick video here. Um, it's after Christmas, Monday after Christmas, starting a few tasks this week. I got the week off. There's another trench, uh, running more low voltage wire. I'm gonna drop a two inch conduit in here. I'm gonna connect uh, this far end of the barn out here with this trench over to uh, my parents' garage. And that will then give us um, internet wire um, from the, actually comes up from my house on this end of the barn, runs through the roof. And then we're gonna send it down and over right now. It's going actually up in the trees over here. Um, and it's obviously gonna get you know, hurt in the winter. But uh, the reason I figured I'd make a quick video, cause you've all seen trenching before in another video, is uh, had a little addition to the cat skid steer. I put in one of these uh, Chinese diesel air heaters. Um, it's uh, it's actually running right now, it's on really low. But you can see the fuel line comes up back there, goes down into the fuel tank of the machine. And then I just mounted a little cage up there to keep the hot exhaust pipe uh, away from everything. And I still gotta kinda close it in with some sheet metal and paint it and make it look nice. But um, the output is over there. And then down on this end, we have the controller on the wall over here. And so I can just simply, uh, you know, increase the heat here. You can actually hear the machine getting hotter and hotter. And uh, see, last night there was a uh, 200 degree air blowing out this nozzle. Actually, even right, right now, you can't put your hand in front of there or you get burned. So um, probably overdid it a little bit on the size. It's a 5,000 K um, heater. And uh, I can't really, if I'm in there working, I can't really run it above, um, I don't know, what's the lowest setting? 1.7 out of 5.5, let's see. Yeah, 1.7 out of 5.5, and that's, the number that that is is the frequency of the pulsing of the pump. Uh, so currently it's putting out 158 degree uh, Celsius uh, air. So cool thing about this is um, you can keep the heat going in the machine, whether it's running or not. And the other really cool thing, which I don't have on me right now, it's actually remote controlled. So you could park this with your uh, snow box on the front of it and uh, from the house, hit the button, heat the machine up inside real good and then come on out and start working. So we'll be plowing snow in t-shirts this year. Anyway, I figured I'd just make a quick check-in, more trenching and a Chinese diesel heater. See y'all in the new year.